How's it going everyone and welcome back to Guilty Craft. Now as you can see we are in uh, my magic tower and we are going to create our very first spell which is Range Diggy Diggy Hole. Now this episode I kind of want to get back into magic so Ars Magica 2, Blood Magic, obviously I'm doing Thorncraft in Magic Powers. I want this episode to be magic basically. I want it to be magical, that's what I want it to do. So I have sorted out this sort of tower. Only this um, this layer and this layer. Everything Oz Magica, I'm putting in this chest. Just so I can access it really easily. Everything I need for my spell, I'm going to put in this chest. So, I have put this all in order. So, if I grab all this. Um, now, if you open up the book, it tells you what you need for your spell. I've collected all those resources. So, to make your first spell, you chuck it in the le uh, le le lectern. Sorry. Need to pronounce that. I am a little ill and a little bit snotty, but I hope that doesn't interfere too much. So we chuck the book in there and start every spell, no matter if it's weak, strong, OP, powerful, you have to start with a blank rune. Chuck it into the middle, and then you should see all these like particles spin around and it tells you what item you need next. So next thing I need is one Vintium Dust. Boom. Then it's a feather. Then it's a fish. I'm just gonna close that. You can see over here. Fish, clay, vintium dust again, arrow, snowball, orange rune, shovel, pickaxe, and every spell you start with a blank rune, every spell you finish with a spell parchment. Chuck that spell parchment in, you get this really cool tune, and you get your very first spell. Look at that! Now last episode I did fail to mention the mana and burnout uh, bars, which I unlocked when I got my... Um, arcane compendium over there but as you can see I have 100 mana and I have 0 out of 11 burnout mana is what you need to cast spells your burnout goes up as you cast spells and it will gradually decrease the higher your burnout the more your spells will cost so with this spell we right click and it uh, opens up this sort of interface which allows you to customize what um, what little picture you want for your for your spell. Now this is a range touch dig and I've been playing around and I kind of like this one. Sort of like throwing a boulder at the earth. So I, I'm going to pick that. Um, range diggy hole, I'm going to keep it that so I'm going to press escape and boom, look at that. So oh, we need to test this out so I'm going to come down into my mine and I'm just going to right click Boom, look at that. I am now level 2 and my XP bar. It does cover up. Oh, I'm level 3 actually. Nice. Now you can see I've leveled up from level 1 to 2 because I've got that much XP. But I did get more mana and more burnout. There we go. I'm leveling up like there's no tomorrow. As you can see, my mana's going down, but my burnout is going up and then back down. So this is what I'm probably going to work on now, is a bit of Ars Magica, I want to create some nice cool spells. So we're now level 6, look at that. So let's see what else we can unlock with um, that. So let's just see. Look at that, we have 3 spells, nice. So let's get a Book and Quill, actually we don't need Book and Quill just yet. Now, my next spell I want to make, I have a digging spell, but I want to make a physical damage spell, deal some damage. So, um, let's unlock that, and we can learn magic or a uh, fire. I kind of want to go down the magic route, that'd be kind of cool. And let's see. Uh, we could learn drown or frost damage. Actually, let's leave that one there. Actually, let's see what else there is. There is Mana Regen 1. That'd be cool. Let's learn that. Why not? Okay, so let's make our very first damage spell. So we want projectile, physical damage, magic damage. And we're going to name this. What should we name it? Should we call it... Um, Magic bomb. Magic bomb. Nice. There we go. So let's see what we need for this. 
Blank Rune, Vindium Dust, Arrow Snowball, Red Rune, Purple Rune, Lapis Lazuli, Book, Stone Sword, and Spell Parchment. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave that until next episode. Um, and I will gather up all of those. I'll also probably try and level myself up. Because look at this. My burnout is gone and my mana is slowly regening. Nice. Look at this. Oh, I'm all out of mana. Okay. Oh, let's quickly go to bed. Actually, I will show you guys one thing. In the intro from last episode, you guys were wondering what this was. Now, this is part of blood magic. And this is like, as you can see down there, I have my big ritual. Like, my, what, my ritual bounding. But this is a, like, small ritual, I guess. Depending what block you have above it, you can activate it. So, yeah, I have got my division sigil. I have 23,000. This actually costs 5,000 to do. Right click on this. Boom. It makes it night. And as you can see, that uses up 5,000 life points. So that's really useful. So I can now make it day and night. Night using that ritual and day just by sleeping in the bed pretty much. But I'm going to sleep in the bed, make sure it's day. And I'm going to show you what I want to do with blood magic. Now blood magic we've got pretty far. But I want to get even further. So I've made myself a tier 4 blood altar. So let's just see. There you go, tier 4. And um... Yeah, tier 4 allows me to do many things. I made some demonic slates, which are made... Oh, which is just tier 3 slates in the tier 4 altar. Um, and I also want to upgrade my uh, ritual, which allows me... Um, with tier 4, it allows me to place down dusk runes. Now, next episode, I do want to make a well of suffering. Next episode will be quite a long one, but um, it'll be hopefully it'll be worth it. So I've upgraded, I've made some runes of self-sacrifice, just so I get more blood out of sacrificing myself to the gods. Who is that god we're sacrificing to? Nobody knows. So let's just put a block of coal in there. And boom, put another block in there. Sacrifice a little bit more. Boom. And now I think we have what it takes to upgrade. Oh, let's get any eye back. So let's see, to upgrade it we need. Ah, there we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay. See, I'm not sure if I'm going insane from having my primal charge on me all the time. I might be. Who knows? And would you look at that? We made, uh, we've upgraded this, which allows us to, um, it says here, I can place dusk rooms, which is what I'm going to need for, let's just get it to the Well of Suffering. Oh, damn, I missed. There we go, Well of Suffering. Now, we are going to need a lot of um, stones for this, but it's going to be worth it because it's going to give us unlimited life points. Which is absolutely amazing. Now, I'm actually losing my voice and I have a, a really bad, like, cold. So, I'm going to end the episode there because it really sucks doing a video when you're, like, not well. But I wanted to get the episode out for you guys. So, anyway, thank you for watching Guilty Craft. Next episode, we're going to work on getting unlimited um, blood magic points, uh, soul points. And I will also make sure we make our new spell, which is Magic Bomb. I'll also increase our magic level, so we should be around level 10, hopefully, depending how fast my mana regens. Anyway, see you guys next time for more modded Minecraft, and this is Gilton signing out. Bye!